All right, let me explain my biggest pet peeve that happens to me often when people meet me for the first time or uh, especially in the gym when people meet me, people telling me that I sound white. So my mom and my grandmother, my grandmother passed away some time ago, but they all sound the same. I sound like them and they're from the South Side of Chicago. My mom and my grandmother were born and raised. I have over 70, 80 years of family that are from the South Side of Chicago. I'm the only person pretty much that didn't grow up there. And but I've lived in, I lived in Chicago for a very long time. I just didn't grow up where they grew up. But I sound just like my mom and my grandmother did. And it's funny because people think that I don't like my own people or that I am trying to sound a certain way. No, this is just how I talk, guys. Like, it doesn't make me any less black or not care about my own people. I just sound a little different. And the funny thing is I have not typically been approached by black people about the way that I sound outside of when I was a kid. And, you know, all kids, like, Kids pick on kids, like it is what it is, right? But as an adult, I always hear this from like white people and they always tell me, oh, you're the whitest black guy I know or white man, you, you, uh, you're you not black. And at the gym all the time, some of the other trainers will joke with me and they'll be like, oh man, I'll be, I could I could beat you up. You're not tough. You, I, you're the, you sound like you're from the suburbs, like stuff like that. And it's really funny to me because like, for one, when growing up, I was kicked out of two schools growing up, like when in elementary school for fighting. I've always been a person that people have challenged me because being raised by a woman and being a little bit more soft and gentle uh, at first meeting, I come off as, I guess, soft to a lot of people. And it's so funny because, you know, I it's something that I would later adopt into my personal life because, you know, I had some abuse happen with my father growing up and stuff, and I've always been obsessed with being strong, right? And with that obsession has come this weird complex where like, I don't do anything until I'm challenged. Once you challenge me, I'll, I'll get back in your face and, I'll, and I'll, I'll get up there with you. But normally I'm pretty passive. I'm just not an aggressive guy normally. But in sports, very aggressive. Um, me versus you, I'm gonna fight till the end. That's just me as a person, right? And people who know me know this about me. But I can't stand when people say I, I talk white or I'm not black enough or I'm not hood enough. I've been on dates even with women who are like, oh, you don't sound like I thought you would. And they're like not interested because of that. It's so interesting, like just because I don't sound like your favorite rapper or whatever you think a black man is supposed to sound like doesn't mean I'm a black man that doesn't care about my own people or my own culture. Um, it's just so funny because if you knew people who my friends were or like the things I've been able to do in my life and the people that I get to work with, you would know that I have no problem with any race or any group. But it's just funny, man. People people judge me a lot just because of the way that I sound and it's it's crazy. So it recently happened to me at the gym again today. Someone met me and they were like, oh, I follow, you know, I've seen pictures of you. I've seen you other places. I can't believe you really sound like that. Wow, you sound so white. You know, and it's just, it's like a big pet peeve, man. So I would tell you guys this, bro. You don't know where anybody's from. You don't know what anybody's been through. Don't make those generalizations, man. And, and I get it. You can have your opinion. No no judgment on that. But I am who I am, bro. You know what I'm saying? So for those who made it this far, just know we got more videos coming out this week. It's going to be super dope, man. We got um some longer workout videos coming up. I want to break down some things with my training. I'm enjoying vlogging my training every day, so I'm going to make some longer content. I've been really inspired by some other creators like Sam Solik. Um, then I've got some more breakdowns coming out. Some finally got my Tyreek Hill breakdown coming out soon. I'm really working on the final edits. I just want it to be perfect. I'm like kind of a perfectionist with that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to keep grinding and keep pushing. And I also get some of these runs documented as well. Career's doing good, life's doing good, but that just was something that really pissed me off today, man, when somebody was talking to me about, oh, you sound so white, or or the people who don't think I like my own people, or just a lot of stuff, bro. Um, but all positive vibes. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I have a platform and I want to use it for good, and I want you guys to understand that this type of stuff's just not okay. Um, like when you say to an, an Asian person they don't sound Asian, or a Hispanic person they don't sound Hispanic, like that's just, there's just no point in saying that ever. Like, just let the person live their life. Stop generalizing races and generalizing people. Um, I'm not going to tell a white person, they, they're like, wow, you don't sound white. Like, I just, I don't, and I don't mean white people in general, all one race. I mean, but I'm not going to say, like, to an Irish person, oh, you don't sound Irish. You know what I'm saying? Um, just, just kind of have some tact, guys. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm being a baby, but I just can't stand it. I've been dealing with this my whole life, even from being bullied as a kid about it to as an adult male, almost 32, and it still bothers me. So, hope this makes some sense. Thanks for joining the video, man. Subscribe if you like me and like my content. And uh, yeah, more workouts coming. Let's keep getting big.